Hi everyone, this is the second video clip to review the GIS module in TBC. Last time we have created a TBC project and showed you how to connect to different GIS data source types. Today's video will focus on the next step, schema conversion. The word schema may sound unfamiliar. GIS professionals use this word to describe a database structure, such as the tables, the fields, the types, and other elements. If we translate a schema to TBC language, we will get a feature definition, which describes the features, the attributes, the layers, and so on. This slide provides a synoptic comparison in between for your reference. Let's resume with our last project. In the GIS tab, choose Get GIS Schema. From the three GIS connections, I will use the File GDB option for this demo. All the feature types in this GDB are listed. Some are point types, some are line types. Also notice that the street feature class has been divided into three subtypes, which is consistent with the original GIS data source. Expand a note. The attribute fields of that feature class are also read through. Now we can create a feature definition to translate this schema. Type in a meaningful description for this new FXL. By default, the description will be used as the file name too. Put the FXL into a proper folder. I need to further edit this FXL, so I will keep this open FXL box checked. Click Export. The new FXL hosts all the feature types we just saw, but does it also carry over the same attribute fields? Expand the signal feature, for example. Check for the signal type attribute field. It was created as a list item. It is still a list item. However, this FXL doesn't have any line control code yet, which is critical to control the formation of lines and polygons. You may add some necessary line control codes manually, but here I will copy over the ones from our global features file with, with the help of import export custom CSV. Open the global features FXL. This file ships with TBC, and it contains all the line control codes that TBC can use. Let's export them. Click Export Custom CSV. The file will be saved in CSV format. In this file, we only need the line control codes, not any of the existing feature codes. So right-click in the blank and unselect all. Then scroll to the bottom to include the line control codes section. Export. That's all we need from this file. We can now reopen the new FXL. This time, we need to import the line control codes. So click Import Custom CSV. Put in the CSV file. Use Control and Click to select all the items except for the column header. Then add them to line control codes from the bottom. The codes are in the correct tab, but we need to tell TBC how to interpret each column by changing the column header. Right-click in the skip area and choose the proper column name. First one should be name. Second one should be code. 
As for the action description, TBC cannot understand the natural language, so we need to select the matching action in the last column. When it's all done, double check the data integrity, then click Add to FXL. Close this dialog window. The FXL is ready for use. Save it and back in TBC. We can import it from project settings. Time to go to the field. Let's push this project directly to Trimble Access via Trimble Sync Manager. From Home tab, Send to Sync. Use Control A to select all. I only plan to use the existing features as a reference, so I will put them to a DXF layer. For your reference, there are three ways to handle the points. Give this selection a name. Then click Add Selection, then Send. The Trimble Sync Manager will launch. It goes to your last project automatically, but if you want to create a new one for this job, click in the project box and choose Select a Different Project. I will create a new project, give it a name, and put it on the server in my region. Wait until the Sync Manager creates this project and opens this project. Change the job name as needed. As it shows, the job file and the FXL file are both included. Update the project height accordingly. In the end, click Create. Let's check this project in Trimble Access. I have logged in with the same Trimble ID. Scroll down and download this new project and its associated files. The DXF layer is properly displayed in the map.
if I now choose to key in a point to mimic the field workflow. The feature definitions we created can be used. And the attribute table structure is well maintained. This concludes how a schema from a GIS data source can be linked and converted in TBC to guide the field work. In the next video clip, we will harvest the data back to TBC and synchronize it to the original data source. Sit tight. Thank you for watching.